Hey guys, it's Chris from the Silver Symbol Channel, and last year I made a video showing you where I upgraded all of my outdoor faucets with these aqua ones. Now these things look better, they're freeze proof, can make a big difference on something you use all the time. Well these guys have decided to go one step further and they've created a brand new aqua that looks so high tech, you'd almost think you'd plug a USB key into it. But this is the first aqua hydrant that allows you both hot and cold water out of just a single outlet. This one uses the same quick disconnects that you might already be using in other aqua hydrants. Now it's got that same super slim design as other aquas, but what I love about it is the temperature setting has kind of got a memory, so you decide what temperature you want and it's always set that way the next time you use it. Many mixing valves today require you to cycle through the cold to the hot or vice versa, and you might be wasting water just to get the exact temperature that you're looking for. This version completely eliminates that. Here we'll take a quick look at the design of the faucet and what it looks like outside of the wall, and then I'm gonna do an installation. It weighs almost six pounds, it's completely made of stainless steel, and there are several of these disconnects that you can buy. They all include a vacuum breaker, which is required with this model, and this one has a built-in shutoff valve. Now I get a lot of comments on my other videos that people think this thing can just be on or off. That isn't the case. You can open that valve partially and control the flow. They put these color-coded caps on the line so you know which is hot or cold. They've also put these paint dots. So even after this thing's installed or the caps are lost, you'll always know which line is which. Once you've got hot water outside your house to use, you will never want to be without it. I use it to de-ice my car in the winter. I can wash it easily with a lot more comfort. If you do any kind of snow blowing, if you've got that chute filled with ice, having hot water can let you melt through that stuff really quickly. And if you're paying somebody to plumb in a brand new spigot, adding hot adds very little cost because you're just putting in a second pipe. Most of the labor is gonna remain the same. Out in my garage, I built this kind of detailing area along with this hot and cold faucet made by the company prior. Now this thing looks pretty good, but here's what you're seeing. The reality is this leaked from the minute I've installed it. I've tried to adjust the packing stems. It's just a total piece of junk. It's plumbed in using Propex or PEX A. Now, if you want to know more about that, I've made a video that I've linked in the upper right hand corner. I've just shut both the hot and the cold lines off, and now I'm going to begin by removing the existing faucet. That extra line on the bottom is for my pressure washer. Now, if I was doing this with copper, I would never have bothered with that, but this PEX is so simple to work with. Splitting off another line is super easy. I put this backer board up which is made of PVC along with that mounting block that is also PVC. You could use the same type of a setup if you were building it into an RV or a van. They include a template in the box and this will be important to set up your mounting holes along with the three and a half inch hole that's required for the install. And you can tear me up in the comments over this but I'm not going to use a hole saw which is what you would of course use if you were normally drilling into new wood. Here, this PVC can be kind of a pain, and I've already got these existing holes. So instead, I'll just use my oscillating saw. All of this will be covered up. Next, I'll secure the block to the wall, and now I can insert the aqua. Now, my plumbing is exposed in the back, and it's pretty easy to get to, but if yours isn't, it's not a big deal. If you've got to service this thing in the future, all of that can be done from the front of the spigot. To secure the aqua to the wall, you just simply remove the front trim plate. That's done with these two Allen screws. And now you can see the mounting block behind it has four screw holes. It should take a little bit of time to line things up. And now finally, you can reinstall the aqua and you'll just secure it in place using the same two Allen screws. Plumbing this thing in is just like any other spigot, except you're gonna have two lines. Of course, one for hot and one for cold. Now with PEXA, it is really easy. Be aware that when this thing is completely installed, it's about 14 inches deep. So in some installations, you may not even be able to use it. So this wall is gonna be built out slightly in the future. So this extra bit that's sticking out is not gonna be a problem. All plumbing is of course a bit of a pain to get done, but once it's finished, look at the result. This thing looks high tech, it's clean, and using this is just as easy as a regular aqua. Just insert the adapter into the valve, give it a turn, and now that water is immediately on. 
Now these are also freeze proof. If you've put this on an outside wall, when you remove it, they will self drain just like a regular aqua. If you want hot water, just turn that knob to the hot position and that's all you're gonna get. Of course, it's gonna take time for the water to heat up, but normal mixing valves blow through a ton of water while you're turning the knob to the position you want. And if you're lucky enough to live near the beach or a pond, you can set up an outdoor shower easily. Just put one of these in, you can use it with a regular hose, but if you add one of those shower adapters and a handle, now you've got an outdoor shower anytime you want it. And remember, hot water isn't a luxury. You've already got it in your house. This just gives you the ability to use it outdoors when you need it. So if you're looking for a leak-free, freeze-proof faucet that delivers both hot and cold water, this is by far the best solution I've ever used. And if you like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the Silver Symbol channel if you're not already for more videos coming up.